Well, welcome to our course on the plural noun proposition. Today we're talking about how to, how to determine the proposition. This is a very important step in the process of developing a plural noun proposition paper. Uh, the reason being is that you have to identify uh, what your key points, what your topic is before you can actually start writing. Believe it or not, this is a common mistake actually. People get excited, they see a question, and they just they just want to start start writing. And so they they start running uh, before they're looking at the course. They start running before they identify the the key benchmarks that uh, they they need to touch on. And so this is one of the major points that we try to make here at Ravensdale Bible Academy when you're writing a paper, when you're answering questions, when you're uh, giving a speech, if you're debating, you need to be clear. You need to be clear and concise. And so, uh, in, a, in a very plural noun proposition way, today we're going to talk about the two cornerstones uh, of Ravensdale Bible Academy. One, critical thinking, and two, clearly articulating your position. Do, do you see how nice it is when you uh, when you clearly state your proposition today, we're going to talk about two key uh, pillars, two key cornerstones of Ravensdale Bible Academy. Okay, well, what are they? The first one is critical thinking. The second one is clearly articulating your position. Now, after that, now you have to support uh, your proposition with evidence, with facts, with even with opinions or illustrations, uh, but those then would be the two two main pillars. So today, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take a look at that, and I want to start off by giving you uh, some examples of what a plural noun proposition looks like. Plural just just means look. There's multiple points, right? There's multiple points. It's in the plural. It's a it's a grammatical term. The proposition. Uh, maybe it's easier for you to think of a proposition as your, your thesis or the point of your paper, uh, a theory, a hypothesis, uh, an argument, your position. And so teachers or uh, employers or parents may assign you a task using different verbiage, but at the end of the day, they're all the same. They, they want you to uh, use your critical thinking skills and clearly articulate your point of view. And so a plural noun proposition or your theory or hypothesis, uh, your position, that's what they're asking. So in this example, we take a look at uh, the book of Ecclesiastes in, in the Bible. And you can see we're looking at, uh, there are the verses, the chapter and verses at the end. So if I were going to, um, you know, introduce this chapter, chapter 1, verses 1 through 11, I would say three clues for making sense out of, out of life are. Do you, do you see how you clearly understand what we're getting ready to talk about? How many clues? Three clues. Clues of what? Making sense out of life. The second example given here, eight insights into God's sovereignty. It could be two. It could be three. We, usually we start at three. Uh, but it could be eight, eight insights into God's sovereignty. That's what chapter three, verses one through 15 gives us. We take what the paper, what the author, what the lecture, what the, the video gives us. If the video gives us two, then it's two points. If the video gives us six, then it's six. Same thing with the paper. Four secrets to surviving in an unfair world. Five critical instructions for meeting with God for instructions for repairing your soul. See how that works? So how do we write this plural noun proposition paper? Again, the key uh, pillars to the, the format of our plural noun proposition paper are, first, we have to determine the proposition of the paper. That's what we're gonna to address today. Then we compose the outline. Third, we prepare the body. We put the meat uh, on the skeleton. Fourth, then we work on the finalizing the introduction, and then finally we formulate uh, the conclusion. So that's that's how we determine uh, the the proposition. Uh, real quick, going back, actually, again, I could use a plural noun proposition. Say, look, the five key steps 
to today's discussion, the five key steps to uh, writing a plural noun proposition paper, the five key steps developing an, uh, uh, an argument paper or proposition paper. See how that works? So we, we want to determine what the, the actual proposition is. What is, what is the process then that we, we go through? Well, again, here's five steps, five steps for determining the proposition of your paper. First step, write down the question at the top of the page. Uh, I, I see so many students that, that get lost. They, they, they get the assignment, they have a blank page of paper, they start staring down, they start staring up, they look around, they look to the left, they look to the right, and there's nothing there. And they forget, they really forget, well, what am I even writing about? You'll even see almost always in a classroom of 20 plus kids, somebody about five minutes in, can you repeat the question? Write the question down so that you can clearly see what you're being asked so that you can clearly answer it. Write the question at the top of the page, it's always there. Then you want to brainstorm. We'll get into brainstorming in a second, but you brainstorm these ideas. You want to pick your, your top three brainstorming ideas. Again, we're flexible on that. Maybe it's two, maybe it's five. Uh, looking for possible alliterations and looking for possible acrostics as well. So how do we determine uh, the, the proposition? Well, it all begins with this process of brainstorming. So you, you see the, the, the kind of four points here. Um, the question was, uh, what are your three favorite favorite movies? Uh, I'm going to show you my, my brainstorming process in a second. I kind of came up with four. And so uh, I had four. And the way I did that was I started brainstorming uh, on my page. And, and the way I did it was movies is a, is, a, is a really broad term, right? I mean, there's a lot of different... Uh, genres of movies. So what I did then was I said, well, I want to identify first, I want to say, uh, you know, what? You don't have to write in a complete sentence. What are the three favorite movies? Right? So that's at the top of my page so that I don't forget. And then what I did was I decided I'm going to I'm going to put these down into different genres, sports, classics, um, action, comedy. And again, you might put drama, you might put romance, you might put documentary. It, it's up to you. It's your favorite three movies. So I... I did it this way, and then from this point forward, I can just start spitballing, really. And, and what I'm doing, it's like, okay, sports movies. Uh, I, I enjoyed the movie Seabiscuit, so I'm going to write that down. I enjoyed Moneyball, uh, Draft Day, Rocky, okay? Uh, go to my Classics. Say Ben Hur, um, Gone with the Wind, Singing in the Rain, okay, just, just kind of showing you the process. Action, um, Star Wars, I enjoyed that, I enjoyed Troy. I enjoyed um, trying to keep them safe. Let's say um, Avatar. Okay. Comedy. Um, you've got mail. And you can paraphrase. Uh, sleepless. Uh, return to me. Um, what else we got? Um, okay. So that's, that's my process of what I'm doing. I'm writing it down. Uh, I want to uh, just throw out those, uh, those examples, those ideas. 
so that they're there on the paper. Now what I want to do is actually take uh, kind of a second look. <clears throat> I want to take a second look and and then start identifying. And so uh, in my process, um, you might add one as you're as you're going in my process. I decided that that Ben Hur, um, it's a wonderful life. Okay. and The Ultimate Gift and Rocky were my four favorite movies. At the time, I, I couldn't decide. I couldn't whittle it down, and so I had four. So those are going to be my four uh, favorite movies. Now, remember, this is very key. In this process, this is a rough draft. Your brainstorming is a rough draft. So we're still in the rough draft phase. You can still change. You can correct. You can adjust. And so... Right now, what are your four favorite movies? Ben-Hur, It's a Wonderful Life, The Ultimate Gift, and Rocky. The next thing I want to do is now I want to start developing my, my actual proposition statement, right? I'm, I'm trying to determine the proposition of my paper. I have to start, again, brainstorming. And so what I did was I took a look at the, the question, what are your three favorite movies? And I, and I restated the question, okay, my four favorite movies are. But then you're also able to adjust them or modify the question to suit your answer, right? And so instead of just saying my four favorite movies are, I said four movies that I love. And then I started thinking about it. And it's like, no, four inspirational movies, four inspirational movies. So see how I took the question, which was asking me my four favorite movies, and I tweaked it a little bit to say, well, these are my favorite movies that inspire me. I just kind of added a little bit. Uh, the next thing I did, and you'll see right there, four movies that I love. Um, uh, that's kind of the process of thinking. Again, we're in rough draft phase. Now, when I analyzed that again, I realized, you know, It's a Wonderful Life and The Ultimate Gift are very similar movies in that the reasons why I like them both are pretty much the same reasons. And so I thought in my proposition paper, uh, I, th I thought it was too repetitive. And so I took one of them out. So I went from four to three. Now I'm right back to what the original question was, which was what was your four favorite movies? Um, alliterations and acrostics. We can use um, alliterations. What are alliterations? Alliterations are, you know, we want to start a sentence and we're going to use S, right? Now, in this case, we're, we're using the, the S's because, well, I already know, in fact, you put right here, saving Ryan. What you do, and the reason why you write down your, your, your brainstorm, one of the reasons is you can go back to it and refer to it and realize that there's, there's nuggets within it, and maybe you're going to adjust it. So let's just say I wanted the, the listener or the reader to remember my four or my three favorite movies uh, in a sermon you know you really want the listener to to remember when you're a teacher you want the lesson to be remembered and so you might want to come up with an alliteration you can see over here when you look at all the different things listed or you look over there and you go you know i see a lot of s's a lot of the movies i like for some reason begin with s so now i'm going to do that a different way i'm going to say mm, Let's look at the S's. So I say S for singing, S for Star Wars, S for sleepless, S for saving Kurt Ryan, S for Sea Biscuit. Okay, you get you get the point. And so then, if I were going to use an a, an alliteration, I would adjust my my favorite movies to fit my alliteration. Uh, so now my my four favorite movies are the three S's of my, my three favorite movies, okay? The three S's of my fa th uh, three favorite movies could be the four S's are then going to be Star Wars, going to be Singing in the Rain, going to be Sleepless in Seattle, going to be Saving Private Ryan, okay? I may also want to do what's called an acrostic, where I'm, I'm going to do a play on words. And so you think of movies, you think of movie stars, so are my... My favorite movies tied into the stars, the movie stars. And so um, I looked at it again and, and said, hey, um, 
S for C biscuit, T for Troy, uh, A for Avatar, and then R for Return to Me. And so if I was looking to get cute with my paper, I could say uh, the star of my four favorite movies are, the stars are, maybe I add another S, right? And I could say the stars are, and I'm going to say, all right, we're going to throw in Star Wars too. Okay? So there's flexibility and see how we can morph and change as we go. This is why it's a rough draft. Very important. So now we're developing that plural noun proposition. Um, plural noun proposition, very, my four favorite movies are Ben-Hur, It's a Wonderful Life, The Ultimate Gift, and Rocky. My three favorite movies are uh, Ben-Hur, It's a Wonderful Life, Rocky. Uh, alliteration, the four S's that describe my four favorite movies are Star Wars, Singing in the Rain, Sleepless in Seattle, and Saving Private Ryan. The acrostic, the star of my favorite movies are Seabiscuit, Troy, Avatar, Return to Me. Uh, see how that works? So, when we are looking to determine the proposition of our, of our paper, there's a lot of steps. We begin with writing it down. You write down the top of the page so that you don't lose track. You brainstorm your ideas, write those down, write on a separate sheet of paper. Choose your brainstorming ideas. You can see what I did. I circled, I triangled, I boxed. Choose the top three. Choose the top three. You may choose an alliteration. You may develop uh, a possible acrostic. It's really uh, up to you. It, it's totally up to you. Now it's time to finalize your proposition. Don't force it if the star acrostic doesn't work don't use it if the four s's doesn't work don't use it in conclusion uh, if you learn to follow these these five steps uh, then you're going to become a plural noun proposition wizard i promise you thank you